A Comprehensive Guide to Growing Ageratum Ageratum, also known as floss flower, is a charming annual flower that is popular for its fluffy clusters of blue, pink, or white flowers. With its low-maintenance nature and ability to attract butterflies and bees, Ageratum is a wonderful addition to gardens, borders, and containers. In this comprehensive guide, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of successfully growing Ageratum, from selecting the right variety to caring for the plants and ensuring a profusion of blooms. Choosing Ageratum Varieties Ageratum comes in various cultivars, each with its unique flower colors, heights, and growth habits. Some popular varieties include Ageratum Houstonianum Blue Mink, Ageratum Houstonianum Timeless Mix, and Ageratum Houstonianum Alba. Choose a variety that suits your climate, available space, and desired aesthetic. Selecting the planting location. Ageratum thrives in full sun to partial shade. Choose a location that receives at least 4 to 6 hours of direct sunlight per day. The soil should be well-draining, fertile, and enriched with organic matter. Ageratum can tolerate a range of soil conditions. But it prefers slightly acidic to neutral soil with a pH of 6.0 to 7.0. Planting Ageratum Ageratum can be grown from seeds or purchased as young plants from nurseries or garden centers. If starting from seeds, Sow them indoors 6 to 8 weeks before the last frost date or directly in the garden after the danger of frost has passed. Sow the seeds on the soil surface, gently pressing them down, and cover with a thin layer of soil. Keep the soil consistently moist until germination occurs. If using young plants, dig a hole that is slightly larger than the root ball. Place the plant in the hole, ensuring the top of the root ball is level with or slightly above the soil surface. Backfill the hole with soil, gently firming it around the plant. Water thoroughly after planting. Watering and moisture requirements. Ageratum prefers regular watering to keep the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. Water the plants deeply whenever the top inch of soil feels dry. Be cautious not to overwater, as excessive moisture can lead to root rot and other problems. Applying a layer of organic mulch around the plants can help retain moisture and regulate soil temperature. Providing proper care. To ensure healthy growth and abundant blooms, follow these care guidelines for Ageratum. Fertilization, Ageratum is not a heavy feeder. Before planting, incorporate a slow-release balanced fertilizer into the soil. Avoid over-fertilization, as it can result in excessive foliage growth at the expense of flowers. Deadheading, regularly remove spent blooms by pinching or cutting them off at the base of the stem. This encourages continuous blooming and keeps the plants looking tidy. Pruning, ageratum rarely requires extensive pruning. However, if the plants become leggy or overgrown, you can trim them back by one-third to promote bushier growth. Prune after the blooming period to avoid cutting off potential flower buds. Staking, some taller varieties of ageratum may benefit from staking or support cages to prevent them from flopping over, especially in windy areas. Insert stakes or cages around the plants early in the growing season and secure them gently with soft ties. Protecting from pests and diseases. Ageratum is generally resistant to pests and diseases. However, it can occasionally be susceptible to aphids or powdery mildew. Regularly inspect your plants and take appropriate measures, such as using organic pest control methods or applying fungicides if necessary. Overwintering Ageratum Ageratum is typically grown as an annual, as it does not tolerate frost or cold temperatures well. However, in mild climates, it may self-seed or survive as a short-lived perennial. In colder regions, it's best to replant ageratum each year or start anew from seeds in the following growing season. Enjoying ageratum blooms. Ageratum typically blooms from late spring to fall, producing masses of fluffy flowers in vibrant colors. Admire the delicate blooms and use them in cut flower arrangements to bring indoors. The flowers also attract butterflies and bees, making ageratum a delightful addition to pollinator-friendly gardens. 
Growing ageratum is a delightful and straightforward process that rewards you with an abundance of colorful blooms. By following the step-by-step -step instructions provided in this comprehensive guide, you can successfully cultivate ageratum in your garden or containers. Embrace the process. Provide proper care and enjoy the charming and eye-catching flowers that ageratum offers. Happy growing!